the Wimbledon tennis tournament may have started way back in 1877, but that doesn't mean it's stuck in the past. Along with its technology partner IBM, the All England Croquet and Lawn Tennis Club is embracing a new way to watch tennis. If you want to have a fantastic experience of Wimbledon, then um, one of the ways you can do that is by creating a connection between the social world and the people that are here. So we've got this fantastic concept this year called Hill vs World. So we're going to have the people sitting on Henman Hill over there are going to be asked a question through the large screen TV. Do you think Federer is going to win this match? And then we'll ask the same question of the worlds and we'll compare the responses. And you know, people here might have a completely different opinion, but we'll get the conversation going between the people that can't get here and the people that are here. And that game set and match of social conversation is truly going global. We're trying to take Wimbledon to different parts of the world. I mean, in Japan, we've always had a fantastic relationship with, with the Japanese uh, viewers. You know, they've, they've, they've been watching Wimbledon for over sort of, 50 years, China less so. So in China, we've got to find different ways to get to, to the user. Um, you know, in China, more and more people are consuming major sports like ourselves, you know, on mobile or on iPad. Um, and also time of the day, you know, it's a very different time, time of the day that people can access. So I think the more we can take our brand to the user, but still at the same time protect our, you know, protect our brand values, protect the heritage, the tradition, the quality, um, but deliver quite a big piece of innovation. But as well as the social aspect, the tech team must still provide the essentials for any consummate tennis fan, all the stats. We have 48 people here from the IBM team who are sat at courtside doing data capture um, you know, of, the, of, the, of the matches and the points and, and what's happened, etc. during the games. We collect a huge amount of data, right, as you can imagine. So last year we had 433 million page views um, on the web platforms, 19.7 uh, unique million users. So you know, a huge volume of people hitting those, as well as obviously all of the tennis playing data um, from the games. So all that means that should fans have some spare time on their hands, they can get access to all the action and all the information of this year's tournament at the touch of their fingertips. And that could prove a useful tool should rain stop play at some point. Hey, this is Wimbledon after all. And the rain clouds aren't the only ones present at the tournament. Demand for Wimbledon's online services skyrockets during the two-week battle. And to cope, the tech team takes to the skies. Wimbledon is a believe it or not, a private member's tennis club. So you know, for 50 weeks of the year, they have a very low demand on their website. And for two weeks of the year, it goes huge. So we use IBM's cloud infrastructure to help ramp up massively during the tournament. Um, so that sits in three data centers around the world. And it's always available. It's always there providing a fantastic service to the fans wherever it is they want to consume the content. But data analytics can do much more than just improve a spectator experience. 